Hey everyone, Sean Stav and Moo, and we are doing a sequel of our most popular video that's got 1.5 million views. Everybody's scratching their heads as to how we did that, because many of you didn't believe how far the ball was going, and we had, you know, some pretty interesting comments. We're going to elaborate on this today and show you why the only way to get more distance is not through swinging harder. You got to swing more efficiently. We'll show you how. Now let's examine what just happened, shall we? Because you notice it looked pretty easy for us to get those distances once again. And the reason being is that we have full range of motion, a lot of ease in the movement. Why is that so important? Because the almighty important thing for, for, some, you know, for your golf swing to happen is the engagement of your kinetic chain. What is a kinetic chain? A kinematic sequence. So if I'm going to throw a ball over there, the I'm not going to throw with my arm. My brain's going to have to go to the ground. We're going to use the ground to get the body out of the way. And you notice how that elbow now leads. So there's a kinetic chain that goes from the ground through the legs, through the core, through the shoulders, through the elbow, through the fingers, and then we deliver. Same thing if I want to throw a punch. I can't throw a punch like this. The brain's got to go engage the ground, use the ground to get my body out of the way so I have access to my target. If you look down at the ball and you say, I'm going to hit you hard, just thinking that, I just popped a rib. So if that's my target, <clears throat> and I go after it hard, I am canceling the engagement of that kinetic chain. So I'm actually, you know, uh, um, compressing the accordion against itself, right? It's collapsing the accordion. So it looks like this. Mm. And the lower body hasn't had a chance to clear. So if you've been told, hey, you know, it doesn't look like you're shifting your weight. It doesn't look like you're clearing very well. So the task that we use is if I take this T here and I wanted to make this T somersault in the air towards the wall over here. If I tee it up like this, I'm compressing down, that's no good. From here, it feels like I can nip it on the way up and make it somersault in that direction. Can you see that? Now, if I say, okay, I'm gonna do that easily, and then in the middle of my backswing, I say, nope, I want to make sure I hit the ball. It's over. Now you're going this way, directing all that energy down there. You get a lot of spin on the ball. You won't catch it on the way up, and you will not ever benefit from that, that power production. Even if you do get it and you do engage the kinetic chain, you, want, you don't want to send the kinetic chain into the ground. We're not digging for holes here. We want to take the tip of the T and snap it that way. So. Yes, I can go that way. Yes, I can go that way. See how kinetic chain is engaged? The hands come through. If I go like this, can't get the T. Yes, I got the T. Now from there, gravity and the G-forces of my swing are unwinding. And you see how I'm going to catch the tip of the T and flick it over there. So peak speed is out there, not there where the ball is. So it looks like this.
send the T that way. So it looks like the swing takes forever. You notice mine, everybody says, how do you get that pause in your swing? It's just me not fighting with my instrument. So if I had a sword in my hands and I wanted to slash a sword through a bamboo shoot, I'm gonna use the weight of my machete to slash through. It's my first full-time job. Yeah, I could go all day like that. That feels very powerful and very easy to produce. That's the key. So we really need to engage the, the kinetic chain and for that you need an amazing task, right? So I'm gonna get Sav back up here. She's gonna tell you what her task is and then Moo's gonna tell you what his is and we're doing that task as if it was our full-time job. I just showed you mine, so I'm done. Let's keep going. So Savannah's task, be warned right out of the gate. She mm -hmm. loves chucking golf clubs. You don't wanna be around when she starts chucking golf clubs, okay? Now, what Sab likes to do, she likes to train with this sucker here. It's called the lag shot. And there's no way that you can force that thing. It's too heavy, it's too whippy, so you really have to use the weight of the instrument to throw. So you're yeah. throwing a really whippy instrument. Let's see you do it. That was so smooth, Sam. Now, one of the things that you'll notice when you're working with your lag shot, when you first reacclimate yourself to it. Yeah. The, if you hold that club really tight, notice your hands aren't moving and I could bring the club all the way out here. Yeah. It's a very torquey shaft. Yeah. So you really have to close the face a lot. Show the camera how much you're closing that face. So she's got a very strong grip and a very closed face. Yeah. And then you're throwing the club to the left of that intermediate point, right? Yeah. Good. Very cool. Very cool. Look at that come back with a gorgeous draw. over 240 yards right down the middle. So your first one was 500 spin to the left. Yeah. You close the face a little bit more. Look at that club speed is up there at 93. Yeah. And now you're 400 spin to the right. Beautiful. Isn't that cool? Sav, you could not demonstrate any better, <laughs> right? So now what? grab your driver. Cuz once you get the One take wonder. Oh, is that pretty? Go, go, go. Moo. So one of the tools that Moo likes to use, we call this the swing caddy. There's a little chamber at the, at the end of it that's magnetic, and you really have to produce some serious G-force in the swing to be able to do that. Yeah. You can't generate G-force if you're going arms only. So it really encourages you to use ground forces and your legs, and you got to wait for that kinetic chain to engage. This tool is what got Savannah from 99, 100 miles an hour club speed to now breathing down my neck at 107 to 112, okay? So, Mu, I'll let you demonstrate that. 
So now go to the top of the backswing and stop. Go arms only. Ah, right? Yeah. So now use the legs to click it at 135. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Big difference. Yeah. So the timing of that kinetic chain is everything, and that's where all the juice is. That's where the secret. So the, the harder you try to hit that ball, the worst off that engagement's going to be. Right. And, and you're just fighting your machine. You're fighting the club and you're not getting anywhere. So it feels very counterproductive, which it is. Right. When Moo is trying to swing at his lowest speed, it's over 130 miles an hour. Yeah. Now, the way that Moo got there, because it, it wasn't always like that. I mean, no. we improve the efficiency, mm -hmm. we improve the engagement of your kinetic chain, but then you hit the gym. Yeah, that's right. And so you and Sav have hit the gym lately and you, you've developed an amazing program in order to get this beefed up right. so that you don't have to work hard, That's right? right? Yeah. So, you, so then when, when you've got more power, more flexibility, yeah. um, more mobility, yeah. then that kinetic chain can stretch out. Mm -hmm. And because it's stretched out and it's stronger, yeah. it, it produces much better shots. That's right. Yeah. So. Oh, beautiful. There it is, man. Oh, what a shot. Wow. 350 down the middle. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that was a good shot. Wow. And, you, and that was just a hair off center. Yeah. Beautiful. So 129 club head speed. Yeah, efficiency was way up there. Efficiency was a lot, a lot higher, wasn't yeah. it? So Moo's going to have his website up and running, but it's called Wisdom and Movement. And uh, we'll put a link down below so you guys get to see his website. And it's, it's coming out at the end of January. And so when you really want to dive in and get better in the gym, right now Sav and I are a little bit, a little bit sore. It's a good sore. <laughs> a lot sore. A lot sore. <laughs> and, and, but it's all, you know, we have a way to train over the course of the winter in the off season to build it up. And then there's a way to train over the course of the season so that you don't play when you're you know, soar. So you really want to check that out. And until next time, see you soon. Hey everyone, Moo. Hey. Guess what we got in here? Well, uh, see the Enjoy the Walk logo. The Enjoy the Walk logo's on there. We got the new True Shoes, the TL1s. Yeah, that's right. The new TL1s. And uh, looking forward to seeing, I'm going to fight you for these. <laughs> we both wear the same size, size 13. <laughs> okay, deal. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, on three? Yeah. One, two, three. Uh oh. I got bashed. Okay. <laughs> Mugus first dibs. All right, here we go. So, what are the options here? Nice shoe bag. Look at this. Oh, that's really nice. That is class, you guys. So we got wow. the lovely, lovely. They're so light, huh? Yeah, very light. Nice and they, shape of the shoe. they put in a beautiful little towel with that. Look at that. Wow, and it's got the, uh, the skeleton golfer on there. Awesome. Yes, sir. Good touch. So you can wipe your shoes after you're done. That's true. So nice leather upper. Super light, and the, these grip unbelievably well. What would you say the level is for? The that that out, zero? yeah, I would say that's 0, 0.0 millimeters of uh, delineation. Right. All right, what's the other pair? Look oh, look at that. Oh, the skeleton. It's there, got right? the little skeleton golfer on the back right here too. Nice touch. All right, what else we got? So, I think there's another pair here. Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. You got the gray pants on today, and I got the black pants on today. Yeah, I think uh, I'll go with the gray ones. Ooh, it's, it's suede. It's right? yeah. Oh, it's a like a new buck. Right. That's different. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll gonna have to do. Uh, <laughs> I shot you these ones. <laughs> that's gorgeous. Yeah, that's very. It's. Nice. You, can you guys see the? 
Can you hear the, the material on that? The, the, you feel how grippy there? That's pretty tacky, yeah. Wow. That's incredible. So you get these, huh? Yeah, I shoddy these ones, yeah. You shoddy those ones. All right, well, we're going to have to do rock, paper, scissors on the third pair, dude. Okay. Oh, they're salves. Oh, the ladies' moms. Say, sent you a pair, salve. <laughs> Look at this. Those are really nice. How cute is that? Little bit of a little bit of a difference in uh, maybe my big toe. <laughs> there we go. I like the touch of. And you have uh, see. Same. Oh, it's got a different message here too. Future staples. What does it say on yours? Future staples dash it, zero one, and then it's featuring kind of, wonder tech. So there's. It's beautiful leather too. Yeah. So there's some. Well, there you have it, people. Some technology explained there. This is. Uh, we can't wait to slip these on and walk around the PGA show in a couple of weeks. To get yourself slipped into one of these puppies, go to the True Shoes or it's TrueLinkswear.com. Enter the code Wisdom in Golf Ten to get ten percent off, and uh, give us a thumbs up at the same time. Enjoy. So there you have it, folks. I can't wait to slip these little slippers on my feet and, um, you know, get to it. I'm sure that um, they'll be fun to train in, too, for long drive competitions. I already feel that, man, these things are going to grip like crazy on our mats here. Right. And uh, I can really see these be, Great like, on the, course too. on the golf course. I mean, the they're really awesome. Yeah. And you can see the... You know, the, the tread is, is aiming in a different direction, heel to toe, mm -hmm. and also on the sides here. So you, you really have 360 degrees worth of grip. Yeah. And you can see the, the contours. Mm -hmm. It's like, thump, right? Yeah. It, it's like it air seals all of the spikes into the ground. Yeah. Just I'm amazing. I'm excited for the rotational power to be able to produce with these ones. Yeah, exactly. Some, you know, so when that kinetic chain engages, it really, it'll help clear the body really nicely and give right. that, that nice catapult effect through the swing. Yeah. And that's one of the things that, you know, I see so many of our students when they're training in the wintertime or they go to the driving range and they're wearing their, you know, running shoes or walking shoes. And those are really not the shoes to wear because they're higher in the heel and lower in the toe. Right. What is that supposed to do for you? Well, it takes your center of gravity and launches you forward onto your toes so that you can catch yourself. Mm -hmm. That's what the, the definition of walking is. So these shoes are meant to keep you in place and that's what you want for your golf swing. So for those of you who tend to fall on your toes a lot, take a look at your footwear, make sure you have your true shoes on your feet and you'll really, your golf swing will really appreciate it.